So in this training video, we're going to be talking about making your plasma cutter do a center punch. Now, we've already discussed in other videos and how to do a drill routine with your plasma. And this is very similar. In fact, we're going to set the plasma cutter up so it just nicks the surface of the material and gives you a nice center punch. Okay. So the first thing you need to do um, is create a tool for this. Okay. So to do that, um, you can go up to your tools and go down to new jet cutting tool. Okay. Um, we're going to name it Plasma Center Punch. Oops. And then the number, I'm going to leave it as uh, 99, I'll be fine. Curve width, I'm going to set to the 0.1, because we're, really, we're not going to be cutting with this. We're simply going to be nicking the surface. So this curve width and feed rate are really irrelevant. You can just leave it at 50. Key thing here is your pierce delay. You want it set to zero. Now your pierce height, you may want to play with. And I've been playing with this, setting it at 0.15. I feel like that's a good spot for starters. Um, really, the the height of how, how how high above the material you are versus how much amperage you're using is going to kind of determine um, the depth of the pack. And it's the, you also won't get too high because then you'll have a lot of misfires where you don't actually strike the main arc and so you don't make a mark. Um, so I wouldn't go much higher than the 0.15. I might even go a little bit lower, um, say down to 0.12. Okay. Um, your plunge rate, I always leave at 150. Um, and I'm always going to leave the cut height and the pierce height to be the same in this situation. Okay. Well, that's not, I'll, t I'll take that back. Sometimes I will change it. So we're going to leave that there and I'm going to set this at 0.1. Okay. Uh, you don't need to pause at the end of the cut. Um, preset volts are not important because what we're going to do here is I'm going to set this no DATHC to zero. And so with it set to one, your THC is on when you use this tool. If I set to zero, the THC will always be off. So it's always going to be off at this point. So I don't have to worry about the preset volts. It could be anything. And my DTHC delay, I don't need because I'm not going to be using it. Uh, lead in type, you're going to leave it normal. Okay. So, um, that's how we set up the tool for the center punch and you can vary like I said your pierce height and your cut height to you know depending on what you see and with it marking your steel okay so I'm just gonna click OK so now I got that tool over here so I'm gonna come in and import a uh, drawing so this is my center punch test and I'm going to have to pick use points for drilling. Now, remember, the next time you go to open up a file, if you do not uncheck this, this will stay checked. And your points will come in as things that she can wants to cut out. So generally, you want to avoid that. So just make sure you uncheck this the next time you open something up. Okay? So now, it brings in my three points in the middle of my part. It's just a little one inch by two inch square that we're going to cut out a quarter inch steel. So my first step is go up to my edit contours or under mode, go down to edit contours here and click it. Now I can draw a box around my three points and select them. Once they're selected, I can right click with my mouse and go move to layer, new layer. And I can call it center punch. So now I got a default layer, which is my perimeter, and center punch, with it, which is my holes. Okay, so first step. Oh, one other thing we have to create over here. The way we're going to do this is we're going to turn the amperage on our cutter down 
to say 25, somewhere between 20 and 30 amps. Okay, and, and like I said, you're gonna have to play with that to feel what, find out what works best for you. Um, so we're gonna run an operation that pierces these points. And so with the low amperage, it's just gonna peck them rather than going all the way through the steel. After that, we want the machine to pause before it goes and cuts the perimeter, because at that point, we have to turn the amperage back up. So what we're gonna do is create a code snippet. Now, if you go over next to tools, you see this G, create new code snippet, okay? We already have a couple code snippets down here, THC off, um, THC on, those are S codes. Um, those are used in the path rules. This is going to be a different code snippet. So go click there. Um, I'm going to name this code snippet table pause. And you can use this other places too, the way I'll show you this. And the code is going to be M01. Okay? Click OK. So now I have a, another code snippet over here, table pause. Okay, so now that I have my tool set up, my center punch plasma center punch tool right there, and my table pause code put in, your first step is to create a drilling routine for my center punch layer. So I go drill operation, I come over here, I select the center punch layer, I come down here, I select my plasma center punch tool. Now this min hole, max hole size doesn't really matter at this point. So I'm just going to click OK. So now as I can see I got one, two, three pierces. Okay. Then we're going to put in the code snippet for the pause. To do that I go down to this G here under operations, insert code snippet to the output file. Okay, so now it's already selected, um, so, but otherwise I would select the right one. Um, you know, table pause, M01, click OK. So now I have a code snippet put in there. Okay, and then my last step is to create the plasma cut operation for the perimeter of the cut. So I go new jet cutting operation. I'm going to pick my default layer. I'm going to pick my 65 amp quarter inch steel for this particular test. I don't need any path rules. Uh, I'll increase my pierce or my lead in a little bit and click OK. So we're going to pierce little divots here. Machine will pause. I will turn my amperage back up and then it will come over here and cut the perimeter. So, um, that's all you have to do in sheet cam to set up to do a plasma center punch. Now, next we're going to move over to the machine. I'm going to show you what this actually looks like. And let me describe it for starters. Your first pierce is always going to be slightly longer and deeper than every subsequent pierce after that. Okay? So, um, you just want to keep that in mind. Um, if it's critical that you can have a deviation, you may want to make that pierce point be somewhere, say, down here where it's going to be cut over top of anyway. You can, you know, fudge that first point, make a, make a false first point, basically. So, it gets, it gets that little slight delay out of the way and then it moves on to the next uh, points properly. Okay, but in most situations, it's it, it's not necessary. So, um, so the machine's going to go over, drop, fire, fire, and fire. It's going to pause. I'm going to turn the amperage back up, and it's going to move over. And then I'm going to have to hit run again, and I will have to hit run twice, as we usually do when we start a cut, because it loads the parameters, and then you hit run again. Um, and then it will come over and cut the perimeter. So, so let's um, last steps post-process this. 
and um, we're going to take this out to the machine and show you how it works. So now we're going to pierce the points by running the plasma at 20 amps. Now we're going to increase the plasma back up to 65 amps and then hit run twice to start the cut. So as you can see, that first pierce in the middle is always the biggest, but the holes are very nice and round and they're quite accurate, so they work very well for center marks for punching. So that's how you do a center.